The iconic members and ladies pavilions at the Sydney Cricket Ground are beloved the cricket world over as a tangible link to the game's glorious past and time-honoured traditions. Built in the late 19th century, the now heritage-listed buildings were, however, viewed in the 1930s as being outdated, uncomfortable, ramshackled and in need of replacement. Probably motivated by the capacity crowds of the previous Bodyline Ashes series and in competition with the Melbourne Cricket Ground's proposed construction of a 30,000-seater southern stand, Sydney administrators embraced expansion, leading the charge for a dramatic redevelopment of the Sydney Cricket Ground was a man whose name has been immortalised at the ground for almost a century, M. A. Noble. Born in 1873, Montague Alfred Noble played 42 tests for Australia as an all-rounder and 248 first-class matches for New South Wales in a career spanning 26 years. Following his playing career, Noble continued his association with cricket as a coach and administrator, serving on the Sydney Cricket Ground Trust. In the 1930s, Noble headed the Trust's bold plan to modernise the SCG, converting it into a massive stadium with the intention of bolstering its seating capacity to 100,000 spectators. The design would involve a grandstand that would span the entire western half of the Sydney Cricket Ground, which would result in the demolition of the Sheridan, Brewongle and Northern stands, as well as the ladies and members pavilions. While not appearing to be a man prone to sentimentality, Noble did balk at one suggested change, the redevelopment of the SCG's famous hill. Some time ago, it was suggested that the hill should be transformed into concrete terraces. To me, this would be almost sacrilege, for is not the hill proclaimed everywhere as the finest feature of the Sydney cricket ground and the envy and admiration of every club and controlling organisation of all other similar areas. Take that hill away and it would not be the Sydney cricket ground. It would be but the skeleton minus the comfort, beauty and finish of nature's covering. In June 1934, the SCG Trust approved the construction of the first stage of redevelopment with the building of the first MA Noble stand on the site of the old Northern stand which was completed in 1936. The plan was for the two-tier grandstand to continue in an anti-clockwise direction to incrementally extend the structure around the western side with the old stands demolished along the way. The members' pavilion would be the next for the wrecking ball. But a stay of execution occurred in 1936 when the Trust focused on developing the eastern side of the ground with a proposed construction of a 10,000-seater grandstand on the site of the Bob Stand. Due to political issues and broken funding promises, the Eastern Stand would not go ahead, nor would the rest of the development on the Western side. The Sydney Cricket Ground would remain virtually unchanged from its mid-1930s configuration for almost four decades until the Bradman Stand was added to the MA Noble's eastern end in 1973. The Brewongle and Sheridan stands would eventually fall. The Brewongle stand in 1980 and the Sheridan stand in 1986, replaced by the Clive Churchill and new Brewongle stands. But the members and ladies pavilions would survive listed on the New South Wales Heritage Register in 1999.
The M.A. Noble and Sir Donald Bradman stands were rebuilt on their original sites in 2014. Monty Noble's beloved hill would not survive the modernisation of the ground, concreted in 1991 and now the site of the Victor Trumper stand. Noble passed away in Sydney in 1940 at the age of 67. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.